This is an upstate tournament two months after picking up Fox. Okay. Cool, man. All right, let's see. Let's see what you got, dude. Dude, I've, I've definitely been under the influence of a certain herb before. But, uh, <clears throat> but no, I don't, uh, I haven't been under the influence for a long time, man. Okay, I see. Okay. Wait, okay, you're a red fox, obviously. Or green fox. Okay. So the first thing you want to know about this matchup is that grabs are broken. Grabs are insanely broken. So if you ever get a grab up throw, it's huge. It's like what you want to go for a lot. So with that in mind, when he lands with these aerials, like this, that down air, or this up air right here, uh, it's good that you crouch cancel shined it because then you get a tech chase situation to try and get a grab. But both of those could just be dash dance grabs. Um, the simplest thing you can do as Fox is literally, I'm going to switch to the TV for a second. <laughs> By far, the easiest thing to abuse as Fox in the entire game, okay, is just dash dance grab. You can just do this all day, and it's so annoying, and people will hate you for it. So I'm going to be, uh, make this guy Blue Fox, and I'm going to pretend I'm Wasabi here. Okay, and you just go like this, and he's going to spam a move right in front of you. I don't know why he's going to do this, but he's going to do it, and it was, a. Uh, um, it will be in the past broadcast, and it will also be uploaded to our old video channel, our old YouTube channel. Um, I can link that for you in just a second here. But yeah, all these VODs, every single one of these is going to be, every single analysis is going to be uploaded to our old YouTube channel. There's a new YouTube channel that you should go to, but uh, until then... Excuse me. <laughs> um... Okay, right here. <laughs> if you go to this channel, Wow, please don't freeze on me, weak computer. Everything is going to be uploaded here. Uh, well, here. <laughs> yeah, it should all be on there. Our new one of, of SSBM tutorials it should be linked in the stream uh, thing below. Like, in the description of the stream right below here. <laughs> but yeah, it should all be there. So even if you miss some part of it, you'll be able to see it again. Should be pretty cool. But yeah, literally, this is what you're going for. You dash dance, and then he's going to spam some random aerial in front of you, and then you're going to hit him like this. And you can combo, like, I don't know, whatever you foxes do. I actually know what you foxes do, but dude, this TV is lag. I, I don't I don't care what Kellen says, dude. Okay, maybe it's not. I don't know. No, it's for sure lag, dude. There's no way. So laggy, dude. I, I can. I can okay. Anyway, back back to the thing, dude. <laughs> Analysis. All right. So with that thing in mind, right? We're gonna look at what he just did. Uh, Mister. <laughs> okay. He do, you see that down air? That down air is a, a dash dance grab. Up throw, up air, up throw, up smash into tech chase. That's free up throw, up smash. Okay. <laughs> then, yeah, you get him here. This is really, that was really good. That's really good what you just did. Uh, you dash dance down, so. Yeah, as he lands from this weird ass, like, nair. I know you weren't ready for it because, like, who expects some weird nair like that? And you rolled away. But stuff like that, that's what you want to look for. Like, like aerials like that, that just land somewhere in front of you. That don't actually hit you all of that stuff that's the dash dance grab and uh it like until you get to super high level like that's just gonna work really well so yeah there uh just shine grab i actually think just shine grab is really good um in this matchup i know not a lot of foxes are using it but 
I think it's because super good foxes, like at super top level, they'll just uh, thunders combo you. Like they'll just nair shine wave dash jab you or something like that, you know. Or they'd rather just play it safer or something like that. But um, yeah, should I space myself closer? Um, I think where you're spacing yourself is fine. Like ideally, where you want to space yourself is right outside of the range where they hit you. So like, <gasps> so so if you're right here. And they they want you want to space it so they land like right here. So like say he jumps up and lands with an aerial like, like say he back airs right. Say he back airs here and it kind of reaches like around here. You want to space yourself right outside, like right past it. That's basically where you want to be. Um, a lot of it's going to be reacting in general for neutral. Um, I I don't think you have to. I think in general better players will just be closer to their opponent more often. Um, but I think that's something you'll naturally do as you get better at the game. I don't think that's something you need to consciously be thinking about yet. That's kind of a good question, actually. Uh, I don't have a straight-up answer for that. But, yeah, because if, obviously if you're too close and he tries to do an aerial guessing that you're going to dash dance away, he could reach you, right? And if you space yourself far away and you see him running at you, you could react to it and then um, not get hit. Like, you could jump over it or something like that. But then if you if you um, space yourself too far away and he does an aerial real far away from you, then you don't have time to de run all the way up and then grab him. Like, he could spot dodge in time or something like that. Um, obviously, you covered that really well. Like, you, like, dash dance down. Or you wave dash down and then nair at him, which does cover that really well. But... Um, yeah, it's. I, I can't answer that question straight up, I guess. But anyway, let's let's continue. <laughs> hey, this guy loves the full hop, dude. There, you did it again, which is good. Um. Hmm. Like, like, okay, this is for sure. So you got him on the run most of this time, right? Right here. That's another Nair. That Nair, you want to dash chance grab that. Um, yeah. He's just not good enough to be... Oh, the moon gave you that advice? Okay. Um, yeah, definitely if you get to around the moon's level, like a high level like that, you're going to have to just play closer. Like, there's there's no way around that. You have to play closer. Um, yeah. I think against this player, being farther away is fine. Uh, I can already tell he's a little bit slow on some of his timings. Um, like that nair he just did. I'll show you it to you again right here. He just does this short hop nair right here. That's da so dash dance gravel. Like he does the jab so late after he lands. So th that nair was like super unsafe. Like it could have been more safe if he nairs instant dashes away or like nair shine instant jump like full hop over or something like that. But yeah, that's a uh, that's super dash dance gravel. So, I don't know. Stuff like that, at least against this player, you can for sure just up throw, up smash all day. Like, you can grab him out of that stuff all day. Um, the moon, for sure. Um, yeah, like, if you're attacking from far away, he's going to have time to react to it. And if you're, I don't know. I think part of that, like I said, was just, if you get better, you're just going to naturally play a little bit closer to them. So... I think the moon is just pretty good, and that's just what he does. I mean, that's not bad advice, though. That's definitely, like, what he said is very correct. It's, like, very good, but yeah. So, what's up, GS Greg? What's going on? Back to this match. When they jab, also, you can just get a uh, down tilt off of this. Like, if you ever see them jab, anyone jab, like, even if it's, like, Sheik or Falcon or whoever, you can just crouch cancel down tilt, and that actually works really well. If they're super closer, you can crouch cancel shine. I think you did that to the weak hit of the up air in the very beginning of the match. But yeah, down tilt actually just combos. It's like super good. Uh, that side B is really okay. I know you got okay here. Like I know that side B got you out. Oh shoot! I went back so far. My bad. But. You see, like, you land here, and then you have to fall, and then you have lag. Like, it, say you did it on ground level, you would just land, you would just go over here, and you would land, and then you'd, you would have this landing lag, and then you'd shield, right? But for the side B you did, you, land, you went up here, and then you fell, and then you have that lag. So it's actually a really unsafe side B. 
Oh, you do get punished for it. Yeah. See, like, see how much time he has to r run over and hit you? It's like so much time. He even forward smashes and misses, and he can still run over and hit you in time. So, um, yeah, that's just a. Uh, yeah. Um, also, this wasn't for you, right? Oops. This wasn't for you. Oh, what the? Here we go. But here, right? He he dash attacks you, and then uh, you shield, and then you have the tech, right? What you could do is you could just guess that he's gonna miss the tech. Like, imagine you're Blue Fox for a second, okay? You could just say, oh, he missed the tech, and then down tilt, because that's the only thing that can kind of reach him at this point. Or maybe second dash attack, but but you might get that weird DI where you, like, float up, and you're, like, it's just still standing fine. Like, it's not the most uh, guaranteed thing. But down tilt would have comboed for sure. Um, what he should do is, if you get up in place here, then he can just do another wave dash down, or he can just down air over this. And if you spot dodge... <laughs> It actually just gets you as you stop spot dodging. If he if he down airs and doesn't fast fall the down air, it can get you the, get you off that. But if he rolls behind you like this, he could, he sh he should just react by up tilt. Like this is he tried to grab and maybe he tried to dash dance grab and he he actually read it or what whatever right. But up tilt just like automatically gets gets it. Um, also, if he did grab here, you could have di'd to the platform and then he'd have to do a tech chase on a platform, which is not as hard because this platform's super short. So you can't go very many places, but um, just something to think about. The up tilt would have been free. So you can place yourself there again and just react to what he does also. So, yeah. Uh, this is another thing where he back airs here. You could definitely dash dance grab that. The difference about this is that he could double jump. He could fake, fake you out. Like, like a full hop back air. Or like full hop, let, go back down a little bit, and then double jump over your grab, and then back air you. So that's something you want to look, look out for. But because this guy's doing so many aer aerials like this, I would just recommend just dash dance grabbing him right there. So yeah. Um, I think this... I think this jab, this grab is really good, but you grabbed a little bit too far. So I think the grab definitely would have worked. I mean, he shielded right after too, so yeah. <laughs> Um, dash attack's not a bad thing, but he crouch canceled it. Mm. Okay, wow. I just, I mean, did you read his forward smash? Maybe you read him uh, wave dashing up. Oh, that's also possible, too. You know, either way, he shouldn't do that side B. If he, you you actually can do that side B if, uh, if you let go instantly of the ledge and then side B. Actually, part of it is kind of invincible, but I wouldn't do it when you're that far away. If I were him, I would have done it. If you're a lot closer to the ledge, then I could like up B stall, regain my. <laughs> I'll just show you right now. So like, yeah, if I'm grabbing the ledge here, like, see that guy's really far away, right? So I don't want to do it right here. But when he's like right here, I can do this again. Like there. So like, if you uh, if you. Grab the ledge, and as soon as you grab the ledge, you instantly side B. You actually have invincibility for like a decent amount of the thing. Not like all of it. But it's not something you should spam all the time because it's still really laggy, also. But you can. That is an option that you could do. Um, the best option by far for Fox is just the ledge dash on the stage. Oh shit. That was not good. But yeah, just the uh, ledge dash. Uh, because Fox's ledge dash is like super invincible. Even if you don't do it frame perfect, it's actually really invincible. So yeah, you could go like... Okay, that one I got hit out of, right? But... Yeah. I don't know if I can make him try to do an attack as I come up. But anyway, that, that ledge dash is super, super invincible. So if you practice that a lot, if you have 20 XX especially, you can see how long you're invincible. But practice that a lot, dude. That's like super good. It's like you literally get up and you can like up smash and the whole thing's invincible. It's just it's broken. That's Fox's best ledge option by far. <laughs> yeah, see, he does that back here again. He just does these... He loves to full hop over stuff if you're close, and if you're further away, he'll just run in and do some aerial like right in front of you. So you can actually dash dance grab all of this stuff. If you want to read his uh, jumps, you can 
actually just be close to him and then just running up air and just intercept him like full hop up air <laughs> but yeah see he did another like nair like right in front of you again he does this so many times i'll show you one more time yeah he just does these aerials right at you like that all the time so if you just stay barely out of range that's that's one you had the right idea where you put a nair there uh, oh shit the chat dude i forgot the chat uh oh fuck i didn't switch scenes either Dude, I'm sorry. This other chat that I've been looking at, it just does not update, and so like I have to keep looking back. <laughs> um, chillin' like spamming invincible side B. Yeah, Matt loves doing it too. What's up, Dong Early, dude? Dude, I've been streaming for a while. I started at uh, five, so sorry about that, guys, dude. All right. I can't switch the screens. My bad, you guys. Okay, we'll go through this again real quick. Koopa, you were just yelling, dude. Alright, there's that up smash. Okay, now he's just going to do a lot of super short aerials. My bad about the screens. They, they, he does the aerial again. So, like, yeah, he just does all these aerials, like, real close in front of you. You had the right idea there where he back airs, and you try to nair over it. That's another thing. You, like, if you're not sure if he's going to shield or, like, or if he's going to do something else, you could just try to nair at him instead. Um, but, yeah. Donger Elite, what's up, Twan? You got home from KBBQ, man. I I am not even jealous, dude. I'm, I'm pretty... I'm West Coast. Definitely West Coast. But, yeah. Mm. Yeah, see, both of you guys do these nares. It hits them if they're running towards you or if they're standing still. But if you dash dance away, then it completely whiffs and you get like a free grab. They get a free grab out of it. So a lot of times foxes will always run past them and then shine. Like they'll run way past the player and then shine. Um, or they'll run way past them and then nair over them. Um, that's because they're so used to people dash dancing back. So you guys can see that in like other matches too. Yeah, see, anytime he's close to you, he just loves the full hop, dude. This guy's a full hopper. And if he's far away, he'll just nair at you. Like, there. See that? He nared at you so short. Like, where is this nair hitting? That nair only hits if he, you're moving forward, right? But then you guys both shielded, so he got the grab. But yeah, like, he loves to do that all the time. Hmm. You actually have some pretty good tech skill, too. There, this down air. You space the down air pretty far, so I would have up tilts here. Uh, Shine actually whiffs, and because he tries to jump out of it, up tilt would have hit him, and you could have like up tilt up smash or just keep up tilting or like something like that. So, so uh, that's good. And then here, I'm not sure what happens. He crouch cancels this. Okay. Hmm. That's a little tricky. I don't know. He just crouch cancels it, dude. Maybe down air would be better. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, down air beats crouch cancel, but yeah. Also, a lot of these tech chases, you guys are just missing. Um, and it's not because you guys are guessing wrong or something. There's actually ways to, like... <laughs> oh, you're a little nervous sometimes? Yeah, that's understandable, man. People get nervous in tournament, dude. But okay. There's actually ways to force people to tech the way you want them to. Like, when people are really good tech chasers, it's not just because they're guessing. Um, sometimes they guess, sometimes they react. But there's actually little tricks you can use. So, for example... For example... He shines you here, right? So, what he does here, he should... Uh, like, assume he didn't go up onto the platform, okay? Because he, he messed up his pressure. He wanted to do, like... Uh, nair shine down air like short hop down air right but he did full hop down air onto onto this platform up here so what what he should be thinking right if he was on the ground is he can run towards you and then wave dash back then there's like is there a way to on 20 to practice tech chase yes um there is actually 
all 20xx computers will just tech chase randomly you can see this on our new channel by the way let me just find that for you in case you guys somehow don't know about our channel actually it's just in the about section below the stream so if you just scroll down below the stream it should be in there the youtube channel so for example here's some tricks say he's on the ground here right he, if he runs forward and then wave dashes back there's like a really high chance that he you're either going to get up attack because you see him running towards you so you're like oh i could hit him with get up attack so you try to get up attack or you roll towards him because you're like even if it's subconscious, you're like, oh, he's running this way. I got a, I get a free roll the other direction. So, like, he actually can just wave dash back, and if he rolls towards you, he up tilts. And if you get up attack, you have tons of time to just run up and grab or run up and up smash. So, like, there's stuff like that. Like, sometimes you guys are just waiting, but, like, you can also just, like, run up and shield. And then there's a good chance that he might get up attack or something like that, you know? Like, there's ways to force them into thinking that you're going to do some, like force them into thinking that they should do a certain type of tech. So like you guys could do both of the, you guys could do more of those. Cause you guys get some shines where you don't convert on the tech chases. And this is like one way you could help to, to do it. I could show you another thing too. Like, yeah, this, this like windmill makes things so weird. Okay. But here's another situation, right? So he, you shine them here and then you kind of go back. You like, shine but you move backwards a little bit like you you wave dash down um right he here but instead you could just run up to right in front of him and then that makes him so much more scared so like uh yes only part two does it you guys are right and for 20xx only part two does random giant text but you know they they'll just do it they'll do it automatically anyway um but yeah like if you ran up here instantly then if he rolls behind you you can up tilt and if he doesn't if he gets up in place like He's scared because you're so close to him. So he's like, oh, I could just get hit any time. So he's going to, like, shield or spot dodge or something. Like, he's going to do something really newbie. Like, yeah, stuff like that. And again, he full hops over you when you're close. He loves to full hop over you when you're really close. When he's far, he's going to do a short hop aerial towards you. And when you're close, he's always going to do a full hop aerial on top of you. Like, he just, this is what he, this guy likes to do. So just watch out for that. All right, that's the right idea, running shine, but you did it you didn't do it far enough. So like he was here already, right? And then he wave dash back. So you don't want to do your shine here. If you're going to do running shine, you want to shine a little bit behind because um usually running shine is to catch people running away or dash dancing or dash uh, wave dashing away, you know. So just yeah, just do a little bit further than you think you should. <laughs> okay, that's not bad to go for. Um hmm. It is really risky though. That's like a hard read type of thing. But you kind of got it right. You just needed to do it a little sooner. Wait, what? Is YouTube not going back for me? Yeah, there. Yeah, just barely. There, you did not want to side B. Um, this is fine to just land. You could just land it on the stage or land on the ledge and you'll be okay. But the side B is just so dangerous. So when he grabs you here too, this is an up smash. At low percent, you don't want to up tilt because you could just get out like you did. Yeah, that's an up smash and then tech chase again. So This is another instance of you getting the shine and then, yeah, so watch this. You get the shine, but you wave dash down, which is really, really good, but you do it too far. You need to run forward up to, up to him, like a lot closer to him, and then wave dash down that'll scare him a lot more you should have like a lot better results if you just do it a lot closer then you can like run and near him whichever direction he goes to so yeah <laughs> that's just tech skill but again he full hops over you you hit him out of his full hop there hmm. that one is tricky Ah. Uh... Probably the best thing to do is actually just run up and near him. Oh, whoops. Yeah. I think that was kind of okay what he did. Another thing you could have done here is you could have. Right here. 
you could just do a short hop back here. You do a short hop. <sighs> okay. You do a short hop back here right here in case he goes at you. If he goes to the ledge, then you're just protecting the stage. No, I'll show you. So so if he upbeats to the ledge and you do a short hop back here right here, it's fine. Oh, uh, what I meant was at first was I thought as soon as you see this, you could just jump out and full hop near him. But that might actually not be the best option. He was a lot further than I thought at first. So when he's this far, you can just like back air right here. If he goes at you, the back air will hit him off. If he goes straight, then um, you can back air and then run over and up smash him or something. Or run over and back air him again. And then if he goes up, see how you full hop back aired? And then you couldn't reach him in time. If you short hop back aired, you could have run over and then still reached him in time. Basically. So, yeah. Also, if you notice, a lot of times you're getting him with Nair Shine, right? Uh, there, I probably would have up thrown, maybe. I mean. Yeah, guys, I think Boofer Day is just. Like, you know how everyone. uh... Oh, Sleepy K yelled at you? Hmm. Okay, I. You know, I'll be honest, I haven't really watched much of Sleepy K's stream. Um, he's definitely a really good player, but yeah, I don't know. Like, there's pe there's times where like, like Lucky's a really cool guy. He's like really nice guy. He's really good at giving advice to new players as well. Um, but like one time he was just drunk at a tournament, like a small local tournament, and some guy was like, "Dude, can I can I play here?" And he's like, "Dude, like, like I don't know." He just like said something like rude or whatever, right? Like Joey doesn't even remember saying it, you know. But maybe maybe you caught CBK at a bad time, you know? It's possible. Maybe he is a jerk. Who knows? I don't know him that well. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think the up throw here would have been better. If you up throw here, that's like if he doesn't. Well, okay. The thing is, he uh, he forward smashed into your shield, right? So, so he's probably if he was a good player, he would definitely be ready to di the grab, but. I don't know, dude. My instinct's just telling me up throw and then charge up smash, dude. Or up throw. You could even up throw back air. And if you up throw back air, he's off the stage as well and you get an edge guard opportunity. Yeah, that was fine. The way you did that was fine. I think it was a lot better. There you go. Uh, that's good too, except you should want to short hop the back air. If you short hop the back air, you would have gotten him and then... Yeah, pretty much. Good, you have a ledge. You keep getting with these random nares. I think that a lot of times you get him with random nares, but you like nair his shield and then shine him and he gets hit by the shine, right? So, no, uh, up throw shine doesn't work when he's at like 90 plus percent. Up throw shine is good, but at the, at low percent, right? So, you want to just up throw charge up smash or up throw, you can even up throw up air and it might actually kill on the stage because the ceiling's low. So, uh, definitely like, at a high percent, around 100%, he can jump out of up throw up smash, but you can up throw up air him and kill him instead. So even if you up throw back air him off the left of the side of the stage, it's more of a guaranteed, it's like an easier edge guard situation than just back throwing him. Back throwing him is like a pure guess a lot of the time. So um, unless you've already back thrown him like a lot and you know what he's going to do, like you notice he likes to pick one option over and over again, um, then you could do that back throw, but yeah, the back throw is kind of hard read most of the time. <laughs> yeah, he does go forward there. There, you definitely could be closer to him. Oh, he... Okay, he did what was good there, actually. He actually did a good thing there, but he punished with shine. So he got you there, but then he could have grabbed you. Yeah, see how you up throw up tilt? At low percent, just up throw up smash. Up throw up smash, and then he has to attack, and you get a tech chase. And a lot of times they miss that tech too, so you get two up smashes for, for, for free. Yeah, just something to look out for. And man, these stages are so hard to... And, and, okay, that, that was so much better. You just did it, dude. You wave dash down so much closer to him, and then you were able to grab him right after. That's that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's the right idea. 
Um, also, I think you could just raw grab him a lot. Because, like, for example, he's just shielding every time he gets hit. So, like, there, he shields. Oh, wait. Watch, I'll show you how many times he shields. Right here, he shields. And you grab him. And then here, he shields. And then here, he shields. So, like, anytime you get close to getting a hit... Um... Basically, you hit him with random nares. And then, uh... And then, well, basically, you hit his shield with a nair, and then you shine him. Which actually ties into what I was saying right here. He just likes to shield a lot. When he thinks he's going to get hit, he just always shields. That's his, like, default rea reaction. So you could actually just run up and grab him over and over again. Um, another thing is, if you nair his shield, your shine hit, like, 90% of the time. So you would nair his shield, he'd try to do something, and then your shine would connect. So you could do nair, shine, wave dash forward, and then j jab. Or, like, wave dash forward, down tilt, or something like that. And, uh... That would be a better way to convert off of your shines. Like, a lot of times you do, like, Nair Shine, Nair Shine, Nair Shine, or, like, Nair Shine, Down, Nair Shine, like, in place a lot. And then he gets shine, he gets bounced away, and you try you try to get the tech chase, but it doesn't always work out. But if you just assume he's going to get hit by the shine, you could just shine, wave dash forward, jab, and thunders combo him. <laughs> Damn, uh, Sleep the Cave sounds like a complete jerk from what you're talking about, dude. Yeah, sorry about that, Boo, for days. I I guarantee that not all of the Smash community is like that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why Sleepy K would do that, but but anyway. <laughs> anyway, Wasabi, I think you just fit in a lot more grabs. Just, like, yeah. He's just, he's just shielding after every time he thinks he's going to get hit, he's going to shield. Also, on here, if you get hit by this, you can... Just DI into the tree always. Always just DI into the tree and tech. You can just always just tech the tree and live anything. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> well, every time you touch him, he's going to shield. Look, shields. He just likes to shield a lot. So like you could put a lot of grabs in there, I think. Holy moly, what the heck just happened? <laughs> yeah, this tree complicates things a lot. It makes things a lot more random than stuff. So. Yeah. See, he, like, got up and shielded. I don't know. I think you could just go start going for raw grabs and just for... See, he tech rolled right and, sh and, sh and shielded. So, like, I know I'm beating this, this like, idea into your head really hard, right? But he's shielding so much, dude. Like, just after everything that... Every time he gets hit, he just instantly shields. So you could just do a nair and instantly grab him. Like, you could hit him, and if he gets knocked down, just run over there and grab him. Like, he he's going to shield a lot. So, yeah. Oh. There you could have grabbed the ledge in time, but whatever, he died anyway. That That's a dash dance grab. Yeah, uh, you got stuck in your shine, so you couldn't do anything. But if you had the, if you didn't mess up there, you definitely could have followed up. There, see, he shielded again. You got you got it that time. That was really good. I like how you use the wave dash down, dude. I hope you got that from our channel, actually. Also, he tries to shield grab you every time you touch his shield, too. That's why your nair shines are working. Every time you nair him, you shield. So, <laughs> yeah. That's that's the biggest thing. So, these are the three biggest things from this thing. Is One, if he's far away from you, he's going to do short hop aerial. Two, if he's close to you, he likes to do full hop aerial. Three, every time he gets hit, uh, he's going to shield. So, like, you could just grab. Four, every time... Um, <laughs> Every time you hit his shield, if he is shielding, and then you, you nair into it or whatever, do an attack into his shield, he's going to shield grab instantly. So you know he's going to get hit by the shine. And then uh, five, um, uh, don't don't up throw up tilt at low percent. Do up throw up smash at low percent. You, you can do up, till, up throw up tilt at like mid percents. And then, uh, oh yeah, six is uh, when you tech chase him, wave dash down closer to him. If, if, if wave dash... If wave dash down is the option you want to use, wave dash down closer to him. Like run up close and then do it, but just barely out of dash, uh, get up attack range. Yeah, basically just wave dash down right outside get up attack range. That's the best time. And then if he rolls behind you, you can up tilt him or something, you know. So, yeah, that's a lot of stuff, but that should be that should be a lot, dude. So, good luck, man. <laughs> People's knee. What's up, dude? Okay.